Hey guys, Sandy here, and I'm back with another process video for you today. Today I am using my Citrus Twist kit. Um, I don't have any full, sh that's a lie. I actually do have one full sheet of paper, but it's not gonna work for this layout. These are the papers that I still have. They're from the Dream Big collection. So what I've done is pulled in this Dotted Swiss from Basil. I also have this cut apart sheet from Pink Paisley. I think I'm gonna pull in some of these uh, minty teal colors to go with this floral right here. I still have lots of stickers, uh, thicker stickers. And then I have, count them, just four enamel dots left from that enamel dot package, so I'm going to use those up today. I have a couple of the cut aparts left, and then some die cuts. Ooh, we're not using that too bright. I pulled from my stash these pearls. Um, some October afternoon label stickers. I'm going to be using this Balzer Design stencil for some background on this page. I also pulled this great little washi tape that has circles and hearts inside some of the circles. And then I pulled a couple random die cuts from my stash. And today I am going to be scrapbooking the picture of my brother walking my sister uh, down the aisle. All right, let's see what I can do. So I get out my Distress ink and my stencil from Balzer Designs, and I just take some of this really light pink Distress ink. I think it's sponge sugar. Yep, it's sponge sugar. And I just go ahead and kind of throw it around the page and the center where I know my cluster is going to go. And I want a little bit of definition from the photo, even though I'm not exactly sure which layers are going where yet. So I just put um, some black cardstock behind it, just, just an ever so slight border. And then I decide that I need a little bit more of that stencil showing. And I like how in some places it's darker than others. So it's more of like a freeform thing and not just, boom, here's a stencil. I'm using that time-honored tradition of marking where you want to cut with your fingernail. and decide that this one is going to layer behind the photo. There's that fingernail move again. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pick the rest of the um, papers and layer them up as well. Going to ink the edges first. You really can't even see the sponge sugar on the edges of this paper. Um, it's really, really slight. Like you can see it where the white flowers are, but other than that, I'm not even sure it was worth it to do it, but I did it anyway. All right, so at first that layer right there was going to be underneath of the photo with the photo as the uppermost part of the cluster, but I decided to go with the floral paper on top. And just so everything is not vertical, I have this uh, paper here that's going to be horizontal and that's going to be layered under the photo as well. And I decide to go over top of the floral just to break it up a little bit. Um, I like this floral, but I like it in smaller portions better. And then this was the card that came that said your kit is always packed with love. But I know I want to layer it, and I'm not going to use it as a journaling piece. It's just going to um, be there for the words that are on top of it. And then I pull out my thickers uh, words, and I'm going to use sweet. And that is layering over top of that glassine bag. And that bag came with um, the enamel shapes in it. And so... It was just the holder, but it layers up nicely. And I like the texture against the paper and um, the stenciled bits. It looks good. I think it looks good. All right, so I'm confirming that's where I want it to go. And the little S is going to um, layer over the photo just ever so slightly. And then I think that this gold heart fits beautifully right there uh, over top of the suite. And there is a little bit of trap space on that bag, but I think I'm okay with it. It's not really bothering me. 
So I grabbed the two little, um, what are they? What are those little things called? Stars. Oh my goodness, guys. So I grabbed the two little stars and um, I'm going to have them layer over the two little hearts. And right now the heart is eluding me, but I will find it later and get it up there on the page. I cut out the triangle part of that uh, mint teal paper and I'm just going to cut it in half because that was the only uh, square that was on that uh, cut apart sheet and I'm just going to place it on two parts of the layer one at the top and one at the bottom and they're not directly underneath of each other meaning that it's not supposed to like fool your eye into thinking that it is a complete sheet of paper under there and there's where I find the other gold heart and get that going and I'm thinking about what I want to do with that big expanse of space. And I thought that these clouds were going to work really well because when I pulled them out and put them against the teal color in the papers and embellishments that I had, it looked good. However, they're way too bright um, because the, the mint parts that are showing are really soft. Um, and those clouds are just like glaringly obvious. So here I'm trying to decide if I want to pull in another piece of paper and cover up those diamonds or if I'm just going to go with it and I end up just going with it. This is another layout where I really played around with that big open space right there trying to figure out if I wanted it big and open space or if it needed to be filled with something and um, I actually had to turn off the camera a couple times and go rifling through all of my um, embellishments and stuff just to make sure I wasn't missing the perfect thing. Evidently I wasn't. And I tried these little hexagons and I'm thinking it could work because I've got the triangles and the diamonds so I've definitely got like a geometric thing going on but the triangles and the diamonds still have a softness to it and those hexagons just don't. And I tried to kind of like round it out by using that gold washi tape, but it didn't work. I actually pulled up part of the paper up there um, on that dotted Swiss cardstock. So I knew I had to figure out something to go up there because I had to cover up the tear. Otherwise, I think I just would have left it completely open up there. And here I am. I'm trying those clouds again. I even go as far as to ink the edges of that gray cloud with the pink, trying to pull it in a little bit more, but it's an utter failure. Like, it looks horrible. That, those, that cloud cluster has no business being on the page. So I got out some October afternoon letter stickers because I was going to um, put my brother and my sister's name onto that space down there where the diamonds are, but I didn't like it. So I ended up cutting a piece of um, one of the die cuts, putting some of the washi tape over top of it, and adding one of the October afternoon label stickers that had like that minty teal kind of color. Um, and that was fine, like that works for me. And I decide that instead of my journaling, which I was going to have down below, I'm just going to journal right up there at the top because it's taking me so long to figure out what to put up there and I really have no idea um, what else to do with it. So this is me taking off the letter stickers that I had already put down and I just decide I'm gonna go for it and write it down up at the top. Um, now I had pulled those pearl brads, they're not really brads, those pearl buttony type things and scattered them about the layout. And those four little enamel dots that I was so sure I was gonna use because they were the last four in the kit, never even looked at them. And I, I completely forgot about them until I I was cleaning up and at that point I said forget it. I did add this little teeny label with gold dots on it. That is from a couple layouts ago I had used my mink machine um, to foil some things. So I just added that in and I'm just putting in a little line of journaling and then this layout is finished and my sister's wedding is almost done. And that makes me happy because I can move on to other things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. And you can leave me a comment. I will definitely reply. All right, guys, bye.